welcome to my youtube channel logic medico today's topic is pruning of the fingers or wrinkling on the tip of the finger objective of today's topic what is the reason exact reason behind this pruning is it normal or abnormal if it is normal what is the reason if it is abnormal what is the, what are the reason what are the causes and if it is abnormal what are the treatment options available so these are the objectives of today's presentation whenever whenever you put your hand for a long duration in water there will be pruning so why this pruning happens why there is wrinkling why there are extra creases which are developed so ultimately this these things are developed because of something called as vasoconstriction so the blood flow to these areas will be minimized so our body autonomic nervous system determines that whenever water for a long when you whenever you are in water for a long period of time it wants to conserve energy so there is a vasoconstriction the sympathetic nervous system is stimulated and there is a vasoconstriction decreased blood flow happens to this area and there is the blood vessels which are there like that initially when you go for a bath if you are taking bath for a long time then it will reduce like this so that the blood vessel dimension is reduced decreased blood flow causes our finger to prune or causes multiple wrinkling like this because it resembles prune so it's called as prune so what is the basic funda behind this why does this exactly happen because when you are in water the water is easy to hold on to or to any objects or difficult whenever in water it's difficult right so our body doesn't want us to slip if this happens even in the foot in the toes of the feet also this happens because we don't want to slip and fall there so body naturally tends to protect our our own self by causing wrinkling actually we are helping in more gripping so it helps in more gripping so that we don't fall or we can easily grasp onto the object which are holding either the bucket or the jug or whatever it is so that is a basic phenomenon or logic behind is it normal yes of course most of us experience this pruny fingers one or the other time in your life if at all you are taking a extra long bath definitely you would have experienced this it can also happen in uh, when you are spending time in a swimming pool for a long duration so it's normal whenever you go in water and dip your hand or feet for a long period of time this will happen automatically when you are off when you dry your fingers and toes it will disappear within a span of some 10 to 15 minutes that means it is normal but is it abnormal yes persistent pruning of the fingers is abnormal or pruny fingers without being immersed in water that is also abnormal so we should know what is the demarcation between normal and abnormal so what are the ca causes for this abnormality abnormally pruning fingers what are the causes let us see one by one dehydration what is this dehydration if you don't take enough amount of water on day to day basis minimum 2 to 2.5 to 3.5 liters of water is required it's not taken that means you are dehydrated or you are taking the water but it is been lost in the form of vomiting or diarrhea or excessive perspiration or sweating that is called as dehydration so what happens in dehydration decrease water in your body as such will cause decrease blood volume that will cause decrease blood to come to your skin so the skin loses elasticity when it loses elasticity you will lose again the gripping power of your hand would have gone to improve that there will be pruning what next diabetes mellitus so what happens in diabetes mellitus person is lacking insulin or insulin is there but it is not able to work insulin receptor is been resistant to the action of insulin so in this diabetes the major symptom is polyuria he has got osmotic polyuria that means excess amount of blood glucose is available in the blood but it is not able to take up pick up by the tissue therefore the blood uh, the sugar is lost in the urine that is called uh, osmotic diuresis polyuria so this time what happens the person tries to consume water as much as possible but still to conserve the water what is available in his body the body tends to do a mechanism again autonomic nervous system it decreases the sweating ultimately the sweat glands will be damaged and the person will hand feet and all will go for dryness and also peripheral neuropathy also affects this so ultimately there is pruning in this persistent pruning in this person's hand what it next hypothyroidism 
thyroid disorder both hyper and hypothyroidism is known to cause pruning persistent pruning but mainly hypothyroidism thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gland endocrine gland present in the lower and anterior aspect of the neck it actually regulates the basal metabolic rate and the body temperature so when this gland has become abnormal during hypothyroidism there is decreased metabolism as such the person will have cold coming extremities and his hand will be wrinkled is entire hand appears pruning pruning will be there because of decreased metabolism and abnormal regulation of body temperature got it next lymphedema what is this lymphedema a swelling in the limbs usually occurs either in the upper limb or lower limb more often than not in the lower limb but this swelling is due to blockage of lymphatic system in the blood vessels there are three types arteries veins and lymphatics the third vessels are lymphatic system if they are blocked for a prolonged period of time that time there will be lymphedema these patients also have got pruning for a better gripping purpose there will be persistent pruning this body's defense system next coming to vitamin b12 deficiency what is vitamin b12 it is a so fat soluble vitamin so this vitamin is available only in animal food mind you only in animal food vitamin b12 will be available so this vitamin b12 deficiency happens in pure vegetarians who don't even drink milk or any anything which, res, which which is obtained from animal they don't consume in them vitamin b12 deficiency happens this vitamin b12 is necessary for maintenance of the normal dna of each and every cell of our body so what happens the epithelium the skin is lined by an epithelium it also has got a dna right nucleus so it can't be maintained the nerve peripheral neuropathy the nerve cannot function properly and blood formation also is affected ultimately all this factor results in persistent pruning last but not the least lupus condition like sle systemic lupus erythromatosus it's autoimmune disorder where there is inflammation against its auto antibodies are produced against body's own cells so this person will have pruny fingers also there will be redness in this palm of the hand and fingers and all there will be redness because of autoimmunity all these conditions will be persistent pruning we got to know what is abnormal what are their causes so the last thing is what is the treatment for this persistent pruning we have to of course treat the underlying cause so so many causes are there let's see one by one dehydration is there so what do you think will give very good fluids any fluids can be given all the homemade fluids can be given to prevent the persistent pruning dehydration you have to do fluid replacement therapy if the person is not able to consume fluid because he has got excessive vomiting then it has to be admitted and iv fluids has to be given intravenous fluid has to be given in diabetes mellitus it is due to lack of insulin either we have to give insulin or oral hypoglycemic agents drugs oral tablets we have to give and we have to control the blood sugar that is the main treatment option in hypothyroidism mainly we have to give replacement of hormone hormone replacement therapy that is l thyroxine or the hormone which is replaced which is deficient has to be replaced lymphedema lymphedema is mainly because of filariasis so that antiviral drug has to be given or if at all it is due to some pathological tumors and all the tumor has to be operated and removed vitamin b12 deficiency in pure vegetarians this happens so vitamin b12 injection can be given or animal food if they are able to consume that also can be given thank you for watching my video and learning subscribe to my channel press the bell, bell button like comment and share my video with your families and friends thank you once again